Okay guys, this is going to be a short video on using the WordPress app either for iOS or for Android and it, I believe even the uh, Amazon Kindle. We're going to use the WordPress app to edit, manage, add, and just deal with blog posts. This is a quick and simple down and dirty way to get blog posts added to your website from, from any one of your mobile devices. It'll work with tablets, it'll work with your phone, it'll work with just about any one of the mobile devices that the WordPress app will run on. I know that blog posts are difficult sometimes for people to kind of get their head around and, and post on a regular basis, but they're so critical to your uh, success on the internet as well as your SEO that it's something that really needs to be focused on. And using the WordPress app is going to really simplify how this whole process goes. So we're going to get started right there. The first thing you need to do is create yourself a WordPress.com account. Um, it's free, it doesn't cost anything. Uh, you just click on get, get, Getting Started and then you fill out this information. It's going to send a link to your email address and from there you'll just lo log in and sign in. So I've already got an account created so we'll go ahead and log in. So now that you have your account created, you can actually do this from the web if you want to, but we're going to jump right over to the app. All right, go ahead and click Login. Go ahead and click Continue with WordPress.com. We're going to use the account that you created a few minutes ago. So type in your email address. And then click Next. From here down at the bottom, you want to click enter your password instead. And from here, you want to enter the password that you created earlier. Once your password's in, click next. It'll take you into the screen where you get to connect your site. So click on connect to site. Enter your domain name. Once your domain name is entered, go ahead and hit next. Go ahead and enter your credentials for your website, just what you normally type in when you log in to the dashboard. Now go ahead and hit next and then hit continue, unless you want to add another site. But we'll hit continue from here. Now this is your dashboard, if you will, for the WordPress app. Now let's go ahead and click on blog posts. And this is a list of all your blog posts. You can edit them, you can delete them, you can change their dates, you can update them. All right, while making this video, I did run across some problems with Gutenberg, which is the new block editor for WordPress. You guys don't see it because we use Divi instead. Not a big fan of it. It's always had some problems. Um, it's been well over a year since it's been out, and it looks like it still has some major issues. However, I'm going to show you real quick how to switch over to the classic editor, which is going to even make using the app much simpler. So the first thing that you want to do is when you're in your website on your app, and you have to do this for each website, you want to come over to where it says settings underneath configure and click settings. And then where it says use the block editor, we want to turn that off. And then once it's off, it'll use the classic editor from this point forward. But let's take a look and make sure that it is off because there is another way. We'll go in and edit one of these existing ones. So if this is all black, then you know you're using the classic editor. If it's a, um, a lighter shade of the blue, then you know you're using Gutenberg. If you are using it for whatever reason, you can click the three dots in the top right hand corner and just as there's a switch to HTML mode, with it Gutenberg on, it'll say switch to classic and you can switch back and forth. So if you get locked into it, you can switch back and forth. But it's just easier to turn it off for the whole site and not have to deal with it. Uh, it's a much smoother experience that I have found when editing. So now that we've got that settled down, let's go ahead and create a post. So let's come over here and hit the plus sign in the top right hand corner. Let's go in, add a title. Let's go ahead and put in some text. 
I just put in some uh, basic copy. So right now, that's really it into creating a post. You need to add a category to it, but there's so that's really it in creating a post. We could hit publish right now, and you'd have a post. But we do want to set a category. It's, you, all of our websites have categories. We do want to add in a um, featured image as well. But I'm also going to show you how to post date this into the future so you can do several of these and have the, uh, the website automatically publish them for you. So we're going to click on the three dots. We're going to go to post settings. Now from post settings, we have from the top, we have our category, our tags. When do we want it published? Immediately, in the past, in the future. Uh, right now it says a draft and it's public uh, visible. Post format will always stay standard. This is where our featured image is going to be. And then we have a location if we want to add it and an excerpt. So let's come down here and start with category. We're going to go ahead and set it to the general category because that's all this one has. But you'll want to put it on whatever category you want. Now go back. Now let's publish. We're going to leave immediately. But if you wanted to pick a date, you could select it and you can pick a future date and it will automatically publish it on that date and time. So we'll go back. Status will leave because when we publish it, it'll update that automatically. We'll go ahead and add a featured image. So let's jump over here and drop in a featured image. Okay, there's our featured image. And now let's add in an excerpt. This is just a brief description of what the post is about. And it's going to show up. Uh, on the snippet part of your home page. We'll show you that in a minute. All right, now that we've got that in, we'll go back and we'll go back again. Now it's ready to be published. So let's hit publish. Say so, yeah. Should load up here. All right, there's our new post. Uh, so everything's good. We have our new post. We've edited it. We've um, got our photos in it. Now let's go take a look at what it looks like on the website. We'll scroll down here. So there's our featured image. This is our excerpt right here. This is the teaser to get them to click the read more button. There it is. So we have our new post. We have our basic text. So this is a very basic way to get posts out quickly. There's a lot of other features in here. We'll discuss those in another video, but this is all you need to know to get posting from mobile devices.